Hello, this is Deborah Barrett with the Cincinnati State Physics Department presenting clarification on area versus volume and mass versus weight. Area tells how much surface something has. It's two-dimensional. These flat shapes have area but no volume. Area can be measured in units of square inches, square meters, square feet, or any distance unit squared. Volume tells how much space something takes up. The following objects have area because they have a surface. They also have volume because they occupy space. Volume can be measured in units of cubic inches, cubic meters, cubic feet, or any distance unit cubed. Volume can also be measured in cups, pints, quarts, gallons, and liters. Those units are not cubed to indicate volume. They indicate volume just as they are. Since liters is a metric unit of volume, it can be modified with the usual prefixes. So you can talk about milliliters. That's a popular metric unit of volume. You have to be careful not to pronounce it as millimeters because millimeters is a length unit as opposed to milliliters, which is a volume unit. Now on to the difference between mass and weight. Mass is the amount of matter in something. How much stuff is in an object? The units for mass in the metric system are grams and kilograms. In contrast, force means a push or a pull, just like in ordinary English usage. The standard unit for force in the metric system is the Newton. Forces come in many flavors. You have your friction force, you have your gravitational force, electric force, magnetic force. You have the force that you apply personally when you push or pull on something. And there are other forces as well. Always force means a push or a pull. And the standard unit for force is the Newton. We deal with weight with the Earth's gravitational force so often that we give it a short name. We use the word weight as the short name for the Earth's gravitational force pulling on something. Or really for any planet's gravitational force pulling on something. Well gee, for that matter we also use the word weight when we talk about the moon. We'll say that uh, something weighs a certain amount when it's on the moon. Any way you slice it, weight is a force, and therefore weight is measured in the same units as other types of force. So the unit for weight is the Newton. Please remember, mass, which means the amount of matter in something, is measured in grams and kilograms. Weight, which is a force, is measured in Newtons instead. Thank you for going through this video to clarify these terms. Take care.